The main focus of our lab revolves around understanding the role of GSK3 and its different biological contexts. And while we're interested in how GSK3 is involved in Alzheimer's disease, we recently made a novel finding that has taken our research in a slightly different direction. And that's the intersection between GSK3 and epigenetics, specifically DNA methylation at imprinted loci. We came across this finding by using cells that were deficient in GSK3 and we noticed that many imprinted genes had changes in gene expression in these cells and we actually tracked this down to changes in DNA methylation. We've extended these observations to the whole genome by isolating methylated DNA from wild type and GSK3 deficient mouse embryonic stem cells and then performing next generation sequencing. We identified several thousand regions in the genome that are differentially methylated in the GSK3 deficient cells. We were very happy to see that many known imprinted genes came up in our screen as being reduced in DNA methylation. The implications are rather broad. GSK3 activity is important for lots of different signaling pathways. Two of the more prominent ones are Wnt signaling and insulin signaling. And we had found that if you activate insulin signaling in embryonic stem cells, which results in GSK3 inhibition, you actually see a reduction in DNA methylation at imprinted loci. And this is very similar to what we had seen in embryonic stem cells that were deficient in GSK3 isoforms. We've now extended these studies to human cells, which we think is an important step to take given the role of GSK3 in mental illness. GSK3 has been implicated in both bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and lithium, which is a direct inhibitor of GSK3, is the main treatment for bipolar disorder. However, whether GSK3 is actually involved in bipolar disorder or how lithium actually treats bipolar disorder are open questions, and we think that now in the context of our new finding that GSK3 is important for DNA methylation, we should now investigate whether alterations in DNA methylation have any role in the pathogenesis of bipolar disorder.